Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Michael B. I hope you are doing great today. If you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and or leave a comment. And while we are at it, smash that like button and the notification bell too. I will surely bring you more videos on simulation, survival and strategy games every week. If you've been here before, welcome back! I am just in the process of emptying out all our factories over here and especially this barrel factory. Uh, let me just recap what we did the last time. Last time we had some issues with uh, some of the mods and the updates and all the buildings disappeared, all the factories disappeared and there were some crashes and whatnot. Everything seems to work more or less okay. We got ducks. We got ducks. Look at them. Look how sweet they are. We got some white and we got some black ones. And they're just, I don't know, snacking away. I don't know what you you call it. <laughs> they're just, uh, yeah, having having a good time. Eh? Hmm? Yep. Look like ducks. So, they're gonna taste good later. Uh, no. Um, uh, they spawn, they have uh, food here. Are you gonna eat some duck food? And I bought some uh, pallets for uh, for that. Just place it here, so whenever they need something, it's going directly in there. Um, I don't really remember. Yep, just save. Thank you. Um, don't remember what they eat. Uh, oh yeah, corn. Yeah, of course, corn and some flowers and raspberry. Um, well, this is filled up because they have the duck uh, food pallet. I've not been able to find raspberry yet uh, maybe it's gonna come in the greenhouses on the orchards uh, well, more likely in the greenhouses not the orchards um, so we want to look into that later in this episode hopefully but else a lot of corn and a lot of sunflowers and some little water and then they're happy and content and uh, happy little ducks um, we are gonna have spawning uh, duck eggs and I'm not sure if it's here or it if it's over here I can see it's over here okay so now I'm sure it's over here <laughs> um, I placed them uh, on both uh, spawn points uh, in the uh, between games because uh, I just wanted to prepare a little and I could not see the difference where they spawned um, so here is the animal uh, dialogue and here's the egg spawn point and here's the food and and I'm not sure what this is, it's gonna be the water then, but when I filled up the water and it seemed that the trigger was over here. Let me just check, I might have, yeah, I think I may have confused myself because the trigger is not overlapping. Well, then I guess we're gonna just remove these because that's the way the water is gonna go. Oops. And uh, what happened here? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> lift it up nice and easy, and just bring it along. Thank you. Yeah, take it. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yes, yes. Got a little fast mod going here. It's a little difficult to control. Just yeah, ta -da. and the next one. And well, nothing much more has been going on in between episodes. Not that much, at least according to the last time, where I had to reinstall everything and redo it. Uh, there's been some updates for the map. Uh, I think the uh, the map has been updated to another version. Uh, and the uh, assets mod has been updated as well, because I think there has been released a textile factory, I believe it is. So if you want to check that out, then... Uh, by all means do that, I'm not going to upgrade it right now, uh, maybe in some later episodes. Uh, because I just wanted to make absolutely sure that everything is okay and not crashing. And we put down the store facility here. The coking store facility. And I've already been over here a few times with the uh, lot of boards. This is half full of boards. And uh, I really, uh, I really do appreciate that the... Uh, I took the uh, took the time to place down this uh, six times sawmill because it's producing a lot and we can keep up and we can even more than keep up because all the factories down here is uh, backed up with, uh, with boards 
but I'd rather have it that way than just wait around for uh, nothing's gonna happen, right? So I'm gonna do this as the last time. Gonna continue down here with the, the barrels, and then gonna empty out all these factories, and then we're gonna move on to something very interesting. So that got to be that. That was quite a quite a few pallets and quite a few good stuff. We got all the resin over. Yeah, we got all the the pallets. We got all the planks. All of the boards, all aboard. Paper takes a long time to produce some paper, so it's good we got that process started. Uh, we got the chipboards and. Same goes for the barrels, takes a long time. So, happy and content. Very much, yes, indeed. And the sawmill here is, is backed up again with boards, so uh, that couldn't be, couldn't ask for more. Uh, what we are going to look into now is a bed. We need to go sleep a little, and tomorrow we're gonna look into a little surprise. And see you in a few seconds. And half past six, ducks are quacking, having a good time, laying some eggs. How much are you? 131, well that's nice, maybe we need some more eh? more eggs, more ducks. Food wise you are okay, and looks like you have enough of water, that's very nice. So, what are we going to do today? Well, I found a little mud that I thought we could uh, play around with, and... Um, that mud is in here under let me see well, we could look into the greenhouses and the orchards i want to f uh, find a place to put them down uh, not may not that difficult as last time out um because that was fairly uh, quite a construction uh task but uh let me see got the herbicide maker i wanted to look into um because there was the charcoal factory yes and that takes wood chips and we got a lot of wood chips so producing charcoal is the one of the ingredients for the herbicide maker and we need also need soap and ooh, i don't remember i think there was one more ingredient water i should suspect so charcoal and soap and I think that is the herbicide icon. I am not so sure, but we, once we put it down, we will know. But the next question is, should it be up here or should it be somewhere else? Because there's the charcoal factory. I think that should be up here somewhere. Uh, I know I got two 
planks factories but we're gonna need a lot of planks in later production so I don't want to get rid of one of them right now um, so we could look take a look over here if we should remove some of these stone patches thingies here and uh, oh, that's a little pallet on the loose put you in there might take, dig out a little more of the wall over there and put the charcoal up here could be a thing and then just leave it for here and then just find a new place for the orchards and the greenhouses I think we're gonna do that let's let's try that out shall we uh, how big is it how big is the not the herbicide maker the charcoal well that's of course pretty big what else mm, well let's gonna just gonna take a little finesse uh, here could be something money is just hammering down yeah I chosen to uh, we have uh, we have gotten the uh, unlimited uh, government subsidy because uh, being dependent of uh, normal income by doing farming and production work and then to the scale that we are doing and the time it takes then I could sit here in front of the computer forever and not really doing anything else and I think that would be a pretty boring gameplay as well for you guys so that's why we have unlimited subsidy look at this huh? look at that right let's take the charcoal uh, what's over here? yes it was No, that's not something I want to see. I want to see a green thing. That should be room enough. Of course, it can be placed. Lily. Lily. Are we going to have a discussion in this? You need more room? Right, taking on a considerable land expansion, and uh, we got the green light, so to speak. That's pretty awesome. No, don't change. Don't change colors now. Just put it down there. Uh, and why don't we gonna put the herbicide maker up here as well? Yeah, that's a tiny, teeny, teeny little one there. Yeah? Huh? Just put it over just about here. Yep, that should do. Right. I think that was more or less all the factories I have planned for this time around side mega let's just take a look at the bee house, the bee house and the high production are already down we could plunk up a silo not really needed right now stock factories we got the crystal steel I don't remember if I showed you I'm just gonna show you again then we got a lot of greenhouses that we need to uh, find room for in the next time and also the orchards and uh, there's something with a robot I find it quite intriguing I don't know what's that about it looks like some of these uh, what was it in FS17 there was a little robot that could clean up after the animals driving back and forth uh, looks like could be something like that I'm not sure but it's very intriguing um, the greenhouses was there was the raspberry there's the raspberries for the ducks uh, interesting interesting so that's at least a thing the warehouse is good cell points yeah we could consider putting down some cell points sooner or later not too bothered about that now uh, as we don't have we're just storing stuff now right so um <laughs> animals yeah the dog food uh, I, I would like to look into some kind of a canine breeding dog food pellets and something like that sounds interesting we got goats and we got the dogs now. Sheep, chicken, yeah, it's all to come later, later, later. So, what do you take here? You take wood chips, water, and pallets. More pallets? No, not the pallets. But we can get off 
get rid of some of the wood chips here. That's that's lovely. And up comes the charcoal. So we could try to get that going. That's the pallets. Yeah, that's the pallets. Um, yeah, should we just try to get that going? Then I'll show you the the steel site, and then uh, we're gonna wrap the episode up. Now I found out that if you are using the settings for the auto load that is specific made for this map, I need to say, uh, you could set the uh, the load for extra size pallets. I think it was, and then it's gonna take most of them. Not as many as if they were just singular, but just then, then you don't need to change the the load settings all the time. So uh, that's at least a good thing. How many more can we have? One, two, three, four. Is that gonna be uh, three? Yep, yeah, that's it. Let's go deliver this to the charcoal factory. There are still some strange things going on. And all of a sudden, the I don't know. The game takes control over the character, and I just start moving sideways, sideways, and spin around, and just for a few seconds, nothing, not much, but just makes you wonder what what's going on. What was that about? So I just save regularly and hope nothing's gonna happen. Uh, how are we? Where exactly do you want me to put that down? Right there? Okay. Okay. That's uh, one way to do it. I need to consider firing your logistics uh, guy here, or your architect. Right. Okay. This is gonna be a little bit tricky. Um, can we do it like this? Yeah, just about. about. And put you there. Is that the max? Can't hold no more? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Okay. What can we... Uh, uh, no. I'm not gonna place a menu. Anyways, because sometimes that... Gonna mess up the triggers. So we're gonna bring this back to... The store. Storage facility. And what was it? Water? Water we needed. Take this truck. Fill you up with wood chips. Somebody has left it here with the same purpose. And fill you up. Not much, just uh, how much was it? No. Out. How much you take? Uh, hundred thousand. Okay. I think we have that. Yeah, it's gonna take a little time. Let's put you there. And the water tanker right here. And very fortunately, we have just gotten installed a little water tanker over here. Don't want to suck up the ducks. Ah, quack. And it goes a little faster. And how much water? How much water do you need? A uh, hundred thousand as well. Okay, that's fine. It's also going to take a little time. Hmm. Well, while these two are filling up, then we can run up 
and I'm gonna show you what's up here. What is this? Well, somebody bought the field up here and they plunked down the future build for a factory. They need our help with that. So they need boards, they need chipboards, they need drywall. Mm, that takes a whole other production line. Well, they need concrete, and they need blocks, and they need pavers. And what is this? This is the crystal steel construction. Oh, yes. But that's a little somewhere out in the future because we still need actually we need two more factories we need the the factory that builds the uh or makes the drywall and then we need the concrete factory as well and uh, the concrete factory i think makes blocks and pavers as well so we need two factories to go and for that we need the tiers and the boards so it's a little ahead on in the future but i got that set up last time in between the episodes we can go in here and just do the land no not the landscaping let's find a orchard and just the first the apple orchard this is the size of the apple orchards and how many are there one two three four five six seven eight eight nine ten ten orchards and I should think it was the same amount of the greenhouses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Ten orchards and ten greenhouses. And as far as I remember, they were quite the same size ish. Yeah, well, greenhouse is a little bigger. So, should we start with the greenhouses? So, we could do one thing. We could put them over here as we did last time. But that was a little was quite the uh, quite the task uh, we could do that again could also just grab one of the fields but you know taking farmland for that it's just i don't know bugs me a little however we are never gonna use all the fields here uh, on this map well at least that's not the plan but well, you never know what happens um, <laughs> let's go take a look at field 11 and ladies and gentlemen we're approaching field 11 and touch down well that could i think it could work it's uh it's not that flat but it's uh we could start from down here and level out this may, may take a little dive up here at the cliffs, but that should not be a problem. Then we could expand it all the way out to the cliffs and then merge it into the cliffs so it looks very, very natural. Yep, I think we will do that. Anybody against? Please oppose. If not, that will be our greenhouse orchard area next time i'm gonna build it up and uh, we're gonna start producing lovely goods from down here but let's just take a look at the uh the water tanker it's filled up so let's go throw some water into the charcoal and get it going quack 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 yeah quacking away might lead to flatten this out a little bit more and then we got room for something future stuff up here even it's very nice water over here no not filling you up and let's run over to our wood chip thingy over here and 180 yeah that'll do that'll do let's unload some of the wood chips nice very nice
and it's full so we've got wood chips and you've got pellets and you've got water so actually you should be good to go so any uh, any animations going on and yep yes we can oh look at this look at this hey there's some charcoal there and oh very nice water splashing down and making uh, what not they're doing to make the things very nice very nice oh there it is Chaco yay cool very very nice that's awesome uh, close yep very very nice well I think that uh, was it for this time. Next time around I have uh, been setting up the orchards and the greenhouses. And we're going to play around with that stuff. And make it a little more beautiful up here. And maybe put down some silos for, I don't know, query future stuff. Because there should be room enough up here for that. And we got all the uh, factory running. We got a lot of uh, forestry products stored. And everything is uh, alright, tickety boo, and very, very cool. Thank you very much for watching, I really appreciate it. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.